everybody, it's Old Fan, and this is my long, long overdue shout out video to you all as my way of saying thank you so much for over 900 subscribers. It's over 900! I know a few months back I said I would do like a shout out video every week. I know. Epic fail. I'm so sorry if I don't end up getting to your channel today, but just hang tight because there will be a next time. First off, and I hope you don't mind, I just have the tiniest little bit of self-promotion. I now have a second channel, and it's called Old Fan One. Well, the new channel is still gonna be all Dragon Ball related, and I will still upload ch uh, videos to this channel, Dragon Ball Toys. There's just a lot of videos that I'd really like to do, and I don't think that they belong on this channel. Um, they really need their own place, and that's why I've made Old Fan One. I also really needed a place to put some of my older videos. Um, um, there was a lot of videos on this channel that had some copyright stuff in it. I have since edited out the copyright content from four of those older videos, and they are now on Old Fan One. So yes, I mean, if you like my videos and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to both channels. That's Dragon Ball Toys, the channel you're on right now, and Old Fan One, and get ready for great content on both channels. But enough of that, here come the shoutouts! We have so many amazing Dragon Ball Toy YouTube reviewers right now, it's incredible. Great personalities, great channels, and great collections. And one thing that a lot of these channels don't have is a whole lot of subscribers, and I think that that's unfortunate. We need to subscribe to each other, we need to be supporting each other for this community of Dragon Ball Toy reviewers to grow more, because I think it has enormous potential. First off, Yummy Pixels. Yummy Pixels has basically burst onto the YouTube Dragon Ball Toy reviewing scene, and I think made a really huge impression on pretty much everybody that's seen her videos. Just such a sweet, warm, wonderful personality that she has, and just energetic, fantastic reviews. Yummy, I just love your reviews. I really do. I'm, I'm so happy that you decided to come on YouTube and make Dragon Ball Toy reviews for us. Yummy just reached 200 subscribers, so congratulations yummy. I think it's only the beginning. I think if you love Dragon Ball Toys, you owe it to yourself to subscribe to her videos, so definitely check out her channel. Now! The next channel is Sergeant Lopez. Oh my god, guys, this is a great channel. Sergeant Lopez reviews all kinds of stuff, but Dragon Ball is his main focus. He has done some unbelievably fantastic reviews on the HQDX line, which are some of the nicest Dragon Ball toys ever released. Great, great, great reviews. Really high quality videos. At the time of this recording, Sergeant Lopez only has 28 subscribers. That is ridiculous! Next up is Sugar-Free Candy! I love Sugar-Free Candy. Man, I get so excited when Sugar-Free Candy uploads a new video. Great personality. All these people that I'm talking about today have great personalities. Sugar-Free Candy loves Dragon Ball toys. I love her collection. I love just listening to her get excited about it. As of the recording of this video, Sugar-Free Candy only has 15 subscribers. This will not stand! Okay, next up is the absolutely incredible Dragon News blog. Talk about a channel with enormous potential, potential to reach an enormous number of Dragon Ball fans. They not only make these amazing videos, but they do it in three different languages. So uh, this is a really exciting channel. I'm just blown away by what they've done so far. They have three videos up. One is on the um, SH Figure Art Super Saiyan Goku. They have another one on the uh, Lawson Coca-Cola um, manga spine figures. Also some uh, Dragon Ball AF figures that are modeled after the um, Bandai Real Works figures. It's part of a website. Now, I'm gonna get the name of the website wrong, I'm sure. I'm gonna read it off of my screen now. It's the Dragon Ball Enelux? Enelux? I, I, I know I'm getting that wrong. At uh, dot .blogspot.com. Again, go to the um, sidebar. Dragon News Blog only has 12 subscribers. That is crazy. So please go subscribe to them now. Next up is Kibo Collection. I just was made aware of this channel literally yesterday, and I was freaking out. I was so excited about it. Kibo Collection is um, part of a website called DragonBallCards.com, and it's basically like DragonBallToys.com, except it's all about cards. It's all about Dragon Ball trading cards. And cards, you know, I consider a kind of toy, in a way. You gotta go visit um, the website. The website's amazing. It's got a forum. I joined the forum. I haven't had any time to go hang out there yet. Definitely, you guys have to check out this, this, uh, this channel. You guys are gonna love the videos on this channel. Again, so very, very, very informative. A huge collection of Dragon Ball cards. Kibo Collection only has five subscribers. Next up, I'd like to give a shout out and a huge recommendation to CS Toys. CS Toys is a Japanese toy store. As far as I can tell, they are absolutely revolutionizing the way that 
uh, Japanese toys in Japan are being sold to people outside of Japan. Um, they have this incredible thing called the Pack and Ship Show, where when you order something from them, they make a video um, of them packing it for you, and they have a, a I think it's a, um, on Ustream, I think it's a Ustream show, where you can watch your items being packed live and have live interaction with um, not only other viewers, but the owner of the store, Mr. S, and Packing and Pack Queen, um, and, and learn so much about um, the world of Japanese toys as it's all happening. It's, it's, it's an incredible concept that they've come up with. It's, it's, it's really genius. It truly, it really and truly is. They specialize in, you know, Kamen Rider and Samurai Sentai, um, but they're also starting to sell Dragon Ball toys. I know in the, uh, Kamen Rider toy community, in the Samurai Sentai toy community, the CS Toys is really well known, but I think to a lot of people who buy Dragon Ball toys, they're not as well known. Um, and I think that we need to start encouraging them to, to carry more Dragon Ball stuff because they offer incredible prices and you are never going to find um, customer service like, like the kind of customer service that CS Toys offers anywhere else. They're, they're just second to none. Now through CS Toys I became aware of another YouTube channel, a channel which will certainly need no introduction very very soon, a channel which has just reached 500 subscribers, so congratulations to you sir. That channel is none other than Shuken Shinobi. Uh, Shuken Shinobi is an enormous fan of uh, Kamen Rider and Samurai Sentai. He primarily does reviews on that type of stuff, but he started to do Dragon Ball reviews, and um, and they're really great so far. And you know, because he's coming at Dragon Ball, um, you know, from from Samurai Sentai, from Kamen Rider, he's he's reviewing them from a very different perspective. I feel so. Really, I love this channel. I'm so happy that I found it through CS Toys. Okay, next up is Mr. Fataya. I love Mr. Fataya's videos. Um, Mr. Fataya is a young reviewer. I don't know how old he is exactly. I th I think that he's around 10. Um, he is in Saudi Arabia, I do believe, and he does Dragon Ball tour reviews and some other stuff as well. He has these um, these um, Ultimate Figure Series figures that were um, produced by a, um, a, a, a oil company in Saudi Arabia called, let me, see, let me see if I can remember how to pronounce this now, Al Khamenei. So yes, Mr. Fataya, thank you for teaching me about the Dragon Ball toys of Saudi Arabia. My God, I, I would never have known. And everybody, please go check out Mr. Fataya's channel. Okay! And I think that's pretty much all the channels that I could fit into one video without this getting just completely crazy. Everybody that I gave a shout out to today is simply amazing, top notch, cream of the crop. Thank you to all of you for making such great videos and entertaining me and informing me so much. Every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you love Dragon Ball toys or Dragon Ball in general, and these are the channels you need to be watching. By the way, if you have a Dragon Ball toy channel or do the odd Dragon Ball toy reviews or hell, even just do toy reviews in general, then I would love to come invite you to the Dragon DragonBallToys.com forum because we have a specific section of the forum dedicated to nothing but YouTube. So please feel free to come join us on DBT and share your channel. So thank you to everybody once again for 900 subscribers. I'll have to think up something awfully special for the occasion when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Let me know if you guys have anything specific you'd like to see me do for that. Before I go, I want to give one last quick thank you to Mr. Robert Aragon yet again because of him and through talking to him, um, there was actually a little article about myself and, and just sort of internet fandom um, in general in Famous Monsters of Filmland, the website. So thank you. That was one of the coolest things that has ever happened to me in my life, quite frankly. Um, wow. Definitely a dream come true right there. So thank you, Mr. Robert Aragon, for, for doing that. That was way beyond anything I expected to have happen. I'll put a link um, to the article so you guys can take a look at it if, if you'd like to. Uh, it's pretty special to me, so thank you once again, sir. I will be back with more Dragon Ball toy reviews very, very shortly. Keep an eye on this channel, and now also please keep an eye on Old Fan 1. I will be uploading videos to both channels very, very soon. Have a great time, guys, checking out all the great videos from everybody I've given a shout-out to in this video. Thank you so much again to everybody. Once again, this has been Old Fan. All the best, and bye for now.